Crazy fun fact, Zoe and I's parents were friends when we were really little, so we would hang out as Nepo babies, literally. <laughs> Hi, I'm Riley Keough, and today I'm going to be revisiting some photos from my life. This is reframed. I feel nervous. I don't know what's coming for me right now, so I'm a little... Uh, anxious, <laughs> but I'm excited. And this is very cool. Oh my God, Hanson. This was like the best day of my life. That's my brother and that's me. And I was like the biggest Hanson fan. I mean, I think every <laughs> girl was probably the biggest Hanson fan, but I was like truly like huge fan. And my mom took us backstage in New York and we got to meet Hanson. And I think at the time, I, love, I loved Zach Hansen. I had a Zach and Taylor moment, and I think this was Zach. I'd cut my hair here, but I looked like Hansen <laughs> um, a lot. And I remember being a fan of them, but also going like, I feel like also this could be my family. <laughs> I follow them on Instagram, they don't follow me back. <laughs> okay, this is really sweet. This was <laughs> also really cringe. This was my very first fashion show walking in a fashion show for Dolce & Gabbana. I would have been like 14. I remember I was very nervous and I remember they were playing like, I think it was Cream by Prince. It was a big moment for my 14 year old self. My whole life was pretty public, but I think this probably felt like the first time that I was like doing something alone as opposed to like a family thing. I keep thinking this is a microphone and I'm supposed to be talking to it. Oh, this is a good narrative because now we're with Dior and we're walking in the Dior show and she's grown up a little bit. She's a little older. She probably is walking a little better. The one thing I remember about this show is that like a lot of the girls had to wear hair pieces or like it took a lot of work to get their frizz out like that. And mine was like, <laughs> it's just like natural because um, my hair is really frizzy. Okay, I was very nervous here. This was so weird. Like, I don't know why I was so nervous. I was just presenting, but Zoe and I, who's a very good friend of mine, we got asked to present together for like an MTV thing. And I think we just had to be like, here's Vampire Weekend. And I remember being so nervous. I don't know why. I get stage fright, like when I'm myself. Crazy fun fact, Zoe and I's parents were friends when we were really little. So we would hang out as Nepo babies, literally. <laughs> and like our parents like breastfed us next to each other. Yeah, so we, we met <laughs> a long time ago, but we re-met when I was probably 17. I think it was like a house party in LA. We had a lot of mutual friends and and we just became very good friends. And then we did Mad Max together and she's like a lifelong, childhood friend. Wow, this is very cute. So this was my very first movie premiere. I was maybe 19 or 20 or something. And I'm with Kristen and Dakota and Joan. It was for The Runaways. This was the first movie I ever booked. And it was with Kristen Stewart and Dakota Fanning, who at the time were like the most famous people in the world. And I was probably like, Ugh, <laughs> which is that vibe. I think they thought I like didn't want to hang out, but I was just really ner nervous. But yeah, now Kristen is a very good friend of mine. And Dakota, haven't seen Joan in a while, but uh, she's cool. Okay, I'm nervous, but here we go. This was a music video I did with Justin Timberlake where I was playing the like love interest. I had to like be in a toxic relationship with Justin and fight around the kitchen. And then I hit him with a pan. I remember it was like a, role that they sent out to the agencies that was like, we need an actor for this because it's there's acting involved because I get really angry and throw some beans or something, <laughs> I can't remember. And yeah, it was just very cool. I mean, it's like, again, like my teenage dream, like it's crazy to like be in a video with, with Justin Timberlake. Like, I think I was like, this is crazy, you know? Just a moment of like, wow, I made it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> This is the war rig in Mad Max Fury Road where I spent many, many, many months sitting with these guys. Probably one of the most 
life-changing experiences of my life thus far. I was in Namibia for seven or eight months shooting this crazy movie and made like some of my best lifelong friends and had a really wild experience. We would just do these really long days in the desert and just be in the war rig and you know it felt like what you see in the movie just like very intense and, and then go home and all hang out together. I met my husband. When we were shooting, the crew was so huge and there were so many stunties. I kind of was like, oh, like he's kind of cute. <laughs> I asked him to go s to teach me how to surf, which is really funny because like I have no interest in learning how to surf now. <laughs> but I was like, told him I was gonna surf and like do all these things with him. And I set my, I like pretended I was this like cool, like beachy girl and no. <laughs> None. I catfished him. <laughs> this is a scene from a movie I did called Under the Silver Lake with Andrew Garfield and I'm looking at the sky. This was a very cool movie to film because it was in Los Angeles and I've only ever been able to film three things in Los Angeles, which is where I live. Didn't have a lot to do in this movie because I, spoiler alert, I disappear. <laughs> but <laughs> I do have a memory on this set <laughs> where it was actually very stressful. I was in the makeup trailer and I was eating like a granola bar or something. And I was about to shoot a scene where I have to kiss Andrew. And the makeup lady was like, are there peanuts in that? And I was like, I think, I don't know. And then she like ran away and got the producer, who's a friend of mine. And the producer came in and was like, Riley, like Andrew's very allergic to peanuts and we have to shut the set down. And they shouldn't have been at craft. And um, I don't know why they're on set. Yeah, and I was just kind of like, oh fuck, like that's crazy. But also thank God that this woman caught it because I had no idea. This is me with two people who I love very dearly, Taylor Page and Janixa Bravo, shooting Zola. I spent a lot of time with Janixa kind of trying to understand exactly what she wanted because on the page, the character was like totally outrageous and Janixa was kind of like, allowed me to go as far as I wanted and didn't kind of pull me back in, which was a really fun experience. There was like one day where we were shooting a scene between Nick Braun and I, and I have to throw, <laughs> I have to throw a phone at him. And I threw it so hard on this take and it went and hit him in the balls. And I felt like I've never felt so bad. Like I, I was like, oh fuck. We cut and he was like, <laughs> he came up to me and he was like, did you do that on purpose? <laughs> I was like, I swear to God, I did not do that. It was, it was an accident and I'm so sorry. And he was really hurt. Like I really hurt him. It's not funny at all, but it was just funny that he thought I did it on purpose. If you're watching Nick, I, I promise you it was an accident. Oh, <sighs> you guys are gonna make me cry with some of these. So this was for the Elvis movie. One of the things that we got to do on this beautiful experience was put our hands outside of um, Man's Chinese Theater in the ground. And we all got to do it together. My mom, my grandmother, my sisters, and I, and Baz and Austin were there to like introduce us. And my brother wasn't able to be there. So we did like his signature too. And I mean, it was very emotional. It was like, I don't think you can watch a film about your family without it just being an incredibly personal experience. This was Vanity Fair. Woo! <laughs> Got to wear this beautiful dress that I loved very much. And my husband was there. He's there staring at me. <laughs> it's very overwhelming. There's You see so many people you know, and it's kind of hard to take in because it's, it's such a big night and, and there's so much going on. I love fashion. I love clothes. I love getting to work with my hair and makeup uh, team because they're so wonderful and creative, but they're also friends. And so it's it's it's, a, it's like a very fun experience because you're kind of getting to hang out with your friends and then you're going out for the night. This is a good one. This is me on stage with Sam Claflin and Josh Whitehouse and Sebastian. And we're playing in our band, Daisy Jones and the Six. 
very dear to my heart and I love these people very much and all the music stuff we shot over a period of two weeks and we were doing night shoots so we were kind of up all night starting work at like seven and going home at nine in the morning. I spent like about a year um, working with coaches, vocal coaches and guitar lessons and piano lessons and then um, spent a lot of time in the studio with um, Blake Mills and Tony Berg and yeah I mean we, we had a lot of rehearsal it was like very um, intense and uh, I, I certainly wasn't able to sing the way I am able to in the show when we started. <laughs> this is weird I like want to cry at all these photos and I sort of feel like it's like my eulogy. It's really also fun to talk about photos in this way because I feel like my relationship with photos is like scrolling an Instagram and a photograph used to be like a moment captured and it was this sort of spectacular thing that you have this picture of this thing that happened and now I feel like our relationship with photos is just like isn't as impactful and so to sit down and look at photos and go okay to, to really have a moment with them is really special. I'm really grateful for this experience and so thank you Vanity Fair. <laughs>